Welcome back. Let's talk about wipe coding, which is pretty awesome for building small apps until it's not. So sometimes your agent is going to get stuck in a loop. It's going to start implementing the same feature or code again and again, or will stop following your instruction. So a grown up alternative to wipe coding is specs driven development. Now, don't worry, you are going to be using an LLM for almost everything. But the idea is that you start with a detailed product requirements document that is going to spell out the purpose of the project, the features that you want to implement, what are the edge cases, and what is going to be the success criteria. And we're going to use this as a ground truth to create bite-sized tasks that an agent is going to implement, but you will remain in control. And I'm going to show you how to use this specs-driven development by building uh, a private transcription app that I am using for my own purposes. In this video, we're going to go from a PRD to task list to the app at the end. So let's get started. For specs driven development, the first thing you want to do is to create a very detailed product requirements document. So here is an example of a PRD that I created with the help of an LLM. So it first talks about what this app is going to be about. What are the key features? I usually try to provide as much uh, technical documentation as possible that keeps the agent on track. At the moment, we just want it to be a CLI or command line based interface. We don't want graphical user interface yet. Once you iron out the details of your product requirement document, then you want to create a task list. In this video, we're going to be using augment code, which is an agentic coding system very similar to some of the other systems, but it has this really neat feature called task lists. And the idea is that it's going to divide a given task into small incremental steps that it can achieve and test. And this goes really well with something like Jira or Linear, where you can create tasks and the agent is going to implement those. They are also the sponsor of today's video. But the workflow I'm going to show you is going to work with uh, other IDEs as well, although it will need a lot more effort. Now, it is a VS Code extension, so you just need to install it. So here's the extension. It has uh, three different modes. One is chat, agent, and remote agent. We're going to be using the agent mode. If you are working with an existing code base, you probably want to index that code base. But since we are starting off with a fresh code base, we are going to use the PRD. So right now, the only file that I have is the PRD.md. So I'm going to go back. Okay, so we are going to tell it to create a task list based on this PRD.md. You can also manually add tasks, but we're going to just send this to the agent. Okay, so it came up with a number of different tasks. And then as it goes through the requirements, I started adding more and more details. And at the end, it asks you whether you would like to start working on a specific task or would you prefer modifying a given task structure? So I think I'm happy with this. Uh, we're going to ask it to start working on it. And let's see what it does. When it's running a, a command, it's going to ask you for your permission. Uh, so I'm going to approve this. But if you're brave enough, just put it on auto uh, and it will start automatically executing all the commands. Now we can look at the status. So right now it's simply setting up the project. Uh, and as it completes a task, um, it's going to put a green check mark there. So one interesting thing that the agent does is that it's going to keep indexing the code base as it adds more and more files to it, which is very interesting. And this task list reminds me of a uh, cloud code where a cloud makes a list for itself and then ticks every task that it has completed. There is something really satisfying by looking at the agent picking up a task from the list and working on it. But the real question is whether the end product is going to work or not. We're going to find out pretty soon. Okay, so it seems to have implemented a part of the task lists that we provided. So we can actually look at this. So it completed 28 out of 44 tasks uh, with the core functionality. The rest is uh, error handling configuration management, right? And we can tell it to complete these tasks, but let's see if the application actually works. All right, so here's the basic command to start the application. If we want a specific uh, whisper model for transcription, 
if we want to enable multiple languages, uh, this is double command key mode and then debug mode. So I'm going to just run it uh, with bare minimum. So I already created a virtual environment here. Uh, we're going to just run this command. All right, so let's see what happens here. So right now, in order to start listening, uh, we need to press command alt. Uh, so I'm going to just press that and let's see if it is going to transcribe something. Okay, so this is a quick test. Hopefully, if everything goes right, it's going to uh, transcribe my speech. And I'm going to press the same command again. Yeah, okay, so it seems like it says, okay, so this is a quick test. Hopefully, if everything goes right, it's going to transcribe my speech. And I'm going to press right. So this seems to be working. Now, let me try to trigger it when I have it pasted here. So we're going to trigger it again. Uh, okay, so this is a quick test. Uh, I want to see if I can trigger it from any other input text box. And yeah, it seems to be working actually. This is great. So this is the first step where we can trigger transcription from any place. Now I'm going to add a task to uh, create a graphical user interface around it. And let's see if it's able to implement that. So for that, we're going to add a task. And now you can see that I'm not completing all of the tasks. So the rest of the tasks are there. Okay, so I am asking it to just create a basic user interface for this and also have a copy button. Now I transcribe something, I can just directly copy it. So we're going to add this to the task list. And now I can just ask it to run this specific task, right? So the tasks that it created doesn't have to be in order, which is pretty neat. You can have a list of features that you want to implement and then select them based on your own need. Okay, so it seems like it has completed everything. Let's test it out. So I think the Python verbi.py should still work. Okay, we run into an issue. And this is actually a funny thing about these uh, agentic systems. So it will implement the whole thing, but I think it forgot to update the requirements file. Maybe it did. Let's just run the installation again. And let me try this one more time. Okay, no, it did not. So let me actually ask it to fix that. So like a great wipe coder, I'm going to just copy paste uh, the error. If by error I added to the task, we should send it to the agent. Seems like it updated a whole bunch of things. Uh, in order to use the UI, uh, I need to install this package, but it did something really neat, which I think is better than the UI. So let me show you, I'm going to run this. And now we're going to use the hotkeys to uh, trigger it. So this is a quick test to see whether the system is working or not. Uh, so now I'm going to stop it using the hotkeys. Okay, and if you look here, it says text copy to clipboard. So now I can just directly paste it here, which is pretty awesome, right? And let's see if actually this works within other applications. So for example, I am within the PRD that we created. And this is going to trigger our transcription. And then I'm going to copy everything over here. So let's do this. And if I control V, seems like it's working. Okay, so this was pretty neat, right? Now you can run this local transcription system on your local machine without talking to any external API or paying any monthly subscription fee. Okay, so I'm going to keep building on top of this. So let me know if you are interested in this project. So do check out Augment Code. Link is going to be in the video description. They do have a free tier where you can use 50 user messages. Uh, currently I'm using uh, this developer where you can send up to 600 messages, but there's also a seven day free trial as well. So do check them out. It's a very neat implementation of a coding agent especially designed for specs driven coding. Anyways, I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching and as always, see you in the next one.